Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, and two days ago marks the one-year anniversary of my flight into Peru. It was my first time visiting the country, and indeed, it was also my first time visiting South America, or in fact, anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. So this is a very important time for me. This is a very special occasion, and so I'm very excited to talk about the, um, the penultimate installment of the Books in Peru series. And for today, I'm going to talk about the first of two acquisitions that I uh, made while I was visiting Cusco, or Josjo, if you know the uh, Quechua language that was spoken by the Inca. And my visit to Peru would have been incomplete without at least one visit to Machu Picchu. And uh, so yeah, I'm very glad that I uh, invested a day to make the day trip. I had to wake up uh, very early in the morning, I think it was around five o'clock in order to reach, uh, in order to leave Cusco and uh, get to the train station that took about three and a half hours to reach uh, the uh, station at um, Aguas Calientes, and from there uh, take the bus that would uh, go all the way up to the archaeological site. And I was very impressed. I was uh, very uh, just awe-stricken by the immensity, by the splendor of Machu Picchu. And I, get, I can simply say that Machu Picchu has earned its reputation as one of the most iconic Native American archaeological sites of all the Americas. The only thing that I could compare to it could be the pyramids of Teotihuacan. And I actually have another video about the uh, elemental themes of the uh, construction and the architecture of Machu Picchu. And I'll provide a link to that up here as a YouTube card. So for today, I'm talking about Machu Picchu in Inca history by Cosme de Cuba Gutierrez. And I have a little story about how I got this book. I was taking the taxi from the hotel to the uh, train station that would uh, lead me to Aguas Calientes. And on the taxi drive, I spoke with the chauffeur about my interest in the indigenous histories of the country and some of the places that I had already seen. And given that he saw how enthusiastic I was about uh, discussing the history of uh, the Peruvian um, native cultures, he said that he would give me a copy of his book on his way back. And um, so after I returned from Machu Picchu, he gave me this English edition of the, his book. And um, I took a great pleasure, uh, pleasure in reading it because it is just a wealth of content and the, on the history, the architecture, the culture, just a, a rich trove of material on different aspects of the site in its geological, cultural, architectural, uh, artistic, uh, religious and uh, social, many of uh, 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 various themes that run through this work. This is a, a very extensive and thorough study of the many disciplines that have been used to understand the uh, history of Machu Picchu, its role in Inca society, and its also, as well as its place in the history of Peru. And I wanted to show a few uh, sample pi uh, pictures here, uh, not too many, but just a, uh, a taste of the various um, topics and images that the book contains. Here it has, for example, uh, some images of the architectural uh, themes, such as some of the temples. On the next page, a map of some of the routes by which to access the site. And then on the following page, some of the native porters who are active around the site today, especially for hikers who uh, need uh, help with uh, carrying their equipment. One section of the book that especially got my attention was the a part on religion. And it talks about the history of the rituals that were conducted among the shrines and the temples found at the archeological site, but it also discusses some of the contemporary indigenous rituals that are practiced among the uh, modern day Hechua speakers. And I really appreciated this connection between of the Hechua peoples of the old and the new. And this was something that I really uh, found a great uh, delight to see um, throughout the work. One last part I also uh, wanted to highlight was just this uh, display of the rich colors that uh, are found among the photos uh, throughout the work. And this is a, uh, an, a selection of the wildlife, the flowers that could be found in the area surrounding the uh, site. So all in all, Machu Picchu in Inca history is a comprehensive study of this important Inca city and the history of its construction and the ways in which it was used for ceremonial, administrative, and other aspects of Inca culture. 
This was my last full day in Cusco, and I was fortunate to receive a copy of this book, but it would not be the only book that I would get while I was still in the city. In fact, on the next day, I would fly from Cusco to Lima, and while I was at the airport, I would find a couple of really just amazing comic books, and I will close this Books in Peru series with uh, some commentary on uh, what these uh, comic books are about. So I look forward to seeing you in the next installment, and then I will wrap up this playlist with today's mask.